morning tube. I did a video. We're looking for drivers. And it was brought to my attention that the problem is, is a lot of people shy away from specialty trailers. So I'm going to show just, I ain't going to show the whole unloading, but I'm going to show how to hook up and start. And then if you block it, get a blockage, how to unplug the line to continue unloading. So we're at the customer, we're checked in. Now we're just going to come right behind the truck. Here's where the blower comes out. Take your cap off. This is your hot hose. And it does get hot because you're moving a lot of air and it will get really hot. Just simply right there. That's it. You're hooked up. Now, you're going to turn around and uh, we're going to go hook up the back hose. And just pretty much just how it sounds uh, yeah we might have to back up just a touch but your product line and this is well this is a product hose at this customer we turn on the dust collector so we're on at your product hose this is your product line here these are your product valves now this is your blowdown valve they could be in different positions but all you gotta do is look this one goes nowhere. It vents the tank, 
This is your blowdown valve. This one here, as you can see, it comes here, goes up. This is your top air. Then it comes down here and it splits. This goes to your product line because as you can see, this is your, for your aerators. These are little aerators right here. If you're hauling flour, cement, and stuff like that, you're gonna use your aerators to unload. For that, you'd open this valve, close this one. We got sand, so we're gonna keep this closed, and we're gonna open this one. We're gonna close our blowdown valve. You're gonna come back here. Sometimes you won't have two gauges. You only have a line gauge. And this is our tank gauge. This is our line pressure gauge. This customer here is 10 PSI unload. I'm going to start the blower, but I'm going to open the valves early, and I'll explain that in a minute. <laughs> You'll have to check with your shop and the truck you drive. Because different ones are going to take different RPMs on the pressure. Alright, so we got our product line open and our tank open. We have no pressure. So what we're going to do, we're going to close the product line. As you can see, we are now building pressure in the tank. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show opening it early because then they'll also uh, simulate um, opening and closing your valve. So we'll open this. We're going to close that down about halfway. This is your product line. Now don't just jam it open. Ease it open. Now this here, depending on the product you haul, you may only go halfway or all the way. With sand, I go, there's all the way. I back it up one, two, and I let it run. Now, you can see I'm not at 10 PSI. It's fluctuating, but I only got eight pounds of tank pressure. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this a touch more and close this a touch. When I get a little bit better pressure, we'll fine tune. Don't move these a lot. You don't have to. You're just dialing it in now. So, see now it's starting to slowly come up. We're at 10 pounds of line pressure fluctuating between 9 and 10 so we're gonna let it go just a touch higher now it's going 10 to 11 okay so we don't want it to go any higher let's close this down some and open that now it will spike a little bit when you do a, a valve position change but now we're dialed in uh, we're pushing about 12 so we'll blow it down just a touch. That's what I mean, that's your blow down valve. Now, we got our valve set, we're unloading, that's all there is to it. When that hopper goes empty, you just close it, open this one. When that's empty, close and open. Now, if for some reason you create a line blockage and your line pressure just spike it, what you got to do, we load the front and back hopper. So this one, as you can hear, pretty empty. So if you're starting out, my recommendation is start with this empty hopper. That way you have, there's only about that much in there. 
Because once this hopper's empty, oh, you open that one. Oh man, I plugged the line. What you're gonna do is you're gonna close this valve here. That's your top air. You're gonna make sure your aerator's closed. You're gonna take your blow down and open it all the way. Well, I got ahead of myself. Don't close this one all the way yet. Because as soon as you close this, you're gonna send all your pressure through your product line. So what you're gonna do is have this mount half open. Have this one all the way open, and then turn around with the blowdown open, open up your valve here. Then you're gonna close this entirely. When you close this, you're gonna spike your line pressure. So as soon as you close that, get over here, grab your valve. And what you're gonna do is just slam it open all the way. Then you're gonna watch your tank pressure gauge on the right. It's gonna drop. And then what you're gonna do quickly is you're just gonna close it, watch your gauge. When it gets up just before 15, slam it open, slam it closed. And that's gonna make your gauge do this, like this. And then what that will do is it's gonna create a suction on the line. And that's gonna suck some of the product left. Because let's say this is the line, okay? And it's plugged all the way full. You create that suction, you're not gonna suck it all in. But every time you suck it, it's gonna slowly start dropping in there. Once you get airflow going through there, leave your top air closed, make sure your aerator's closed. All that pressure's going through it, it's gonna go and start picking up the product that's here down, and it's gonna get it moving to go up into your silo. So, if you plug one, it's not, oh my, what do I do? It's, you can unplug them. Just, you know, real easy. Like I said, just keep your product line open halfway, and then once you open your empty hopper valve, close your product, or your top air, and then just get over here quick, you just gotta open close. And when that gets up to 15, open close, open close. And your trailer's gonna start hopping. Every time that hops, it creates a sucking product back in. And that's all there is to unloading the pneumatic. They're, they're not complicated, they're easily done, and that's about it. You know, just hook up to it, hoping to get it your valves and once you set it you know especially after you've done the same load to a couple places say in that once you set it you're gonna set it and forget it now you just hang out here and wait till your trailer's empty